you've been on quite the run in strike force. Talk to us about your win over Carlos Fedor. Uh, man, I thought uh, it was a good, good, solid win. You know, I think I did a lot of uh, good things in that fight. You know, uh, you know that I like to do, dominate the top position, and you know, any any uh, time you can finish with a sub, um, I think that's uh, you know what what we come out to do, and that's finish fights. So um, I was happy with getting the finish, and you know. Um, as, as good as it was, you know, I think it was a fight I could, I was able to learn a lot from, too, you know, I uh, uh, made a few adjustments in my uh, training that I think uh, are going to pay dividends, I really put some hard work into my uh, stand-up, and, uh, you know, I think that'll all pay off. The other day we were doing a Strike Force preview show. We had a bunch of different Strike Force fighters on the uh, show, and we were talking about you. And are you getting a bad deal here, man? Like you beat Lyle Beerbomb, who was a potential number one contender, and right before the fight with Carlos, people were saying the same things about him that he was a potential number one contender. Yet you still find yourselves on the prelim. Uh. I mean, I, I would definitely like to be on the main card. I think, uh, I think my last few performances have warranted it. You know, I think, uh, you know, I've been, uh, you know, finishing fights and, and making good fights. Uh, I was a little bit surprised to see it on the undercard, uh, but you know, I just, uh, I'm really gonna, gonna go out there, and uh, I think that has driven me in training, and uh, you know, I expect to. Uh, to make them really regret putting me on the undercard. Can you just talk to us about your opponent a little bit? Uh, yeah, Mizuto Hirota, um, he's a really tough guy, a past champion in Japan. You know, he's a world victory road, uh, you know, uh, lightweight champ. Uh, so he's definitely a cream of the crop opponent. He's got a uh, great footwork, good hands. You know, he's a, He's a dangerous opponent, and he's fought a lot of guys who, uh, you know, try to take him down, and uh, he's done well against them. So it should make for an in interesting fight. I just think uh, I'm going to be a little bit too big for him and, uh, you know, uh, make him feel uh, what uh, kind of fighting in the cage and, uh, you know, fighting in the States is all about. What do you think you need to do in this fight to get a little bit of respect? Uh, I think another finish, man. I think I I, I got to finish him. Um, you know, um, I've got to make it a good fight. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think I've done all the training, uh, you know, I, I can to, to accomplish that goal. Okay, man, you've worked a lot with uh, Matt Lilland in the past. Is he still going to be in your corner? Yep, Matt's uh, definitely... Uh, in my corner, uh, I really enjoy having him. Uh, you know, I worked with uh, a lot of the same uh, guys here at Team Quest, but I also brought in uh, some Muay Thai guys to work with, uh, you know, um, who spent a lot of time over in Thailand and not really to uh, stay at the uh, uh, end of my punches and, and make it that type of fight, but, you know, I'm, I, I like to fight from the clinch. I just want to be able to take advantage of all the striking I can do in the clinch and, uh, you know, specifically knees and elbows. I really want to use those uh, to effectively uh, strike there and uh, effectively uh, finish take down. Matt Linland and uh, Team Quest were a dynamic uh, team a few years back, but a lot of the guys, more well-known guys, have left over the last few years. You and your brother have stuck it out with Matt. Just talk about losing some of the guys from the camp. Uh, yeah, I mean, things have changed, uh, you know, with every, everybody we lose, we seem to bring in more people, so, um, you know, it, it's just kind of like, uh, things, things have changed around there, but, you know, I, I, um, actually did some recruiting of my own, brought in, like, Lloyd Woodard, um, who fights in Bellator, and he's a great 155-pounder, also a really big 155-pounder, I think. He's about the only 155 pounder who's, who's bigger than me that I've ran into. So he's actually my roommate now, and he's he's training with me. Um, so 
I think our, our gym, although it's changed, I think it's, uh, you know, remained stronger and uh, uh, more importantly at, at my weight at around 155. This is uh, Monday night of the taping of this interview, so uh, only a few days out here from the weigh-ins. How much weight will you have to drop from here on out? Um, you know, my weight is actually the lowest it's been going into this uh, this fight. Um, I'm only going to have to cut maybe uh, six pounds of water weight, so I think that uh, that's you know really good for me, and uh, you know I've made kind of some some changes in my uh, uh, diet uh, that I think uh, is really going to pay off. If you get this win, do you think you get the next shot at uh, Gilbert's belt? Yeah, I think with a win here, especially a good win, uh, uh, I definitely uh, have earned the title shot, and I would definitely expect it. Yeah, for sure, because I read in an interview a few months back even, Josh Thompson was saying you probably deserve the shot over him. Yeah, uh, he, I did see him say that. I know Gil's mentioned me in, in quite a few interviews, and the only really uh, uh, person that I could see, like, or, uh, you know, is if they bring in somebody from the USC. That's the only reason I could see myself right. not getting the title shot. Uh, and I uh, certainly feel like I said I've earned it. Okay, Pat, thanks for giving us the time. Any sponsors you'd like to promote or throw out your Twitter or Facebook? Yeah, definitely. I want to throw out uh, my Twitter is at Bam Bam Healy. My Facebook is just uh, facebook.com slash Patrick uh, dot B dot Healy. Um, and then I really want to thank uh, uh, MMA Elite for getting behind me. Um, they're an awesome company, and it, you know, they're, they're the first uh, MMA company to get behind me and, and continue, you know, set up a long term thing. So I'm really excited to have them in my corner and, and also uh, Float On, which is a, a isolation tank company here in Portland that, uh, gives me a float a week and man I can be more grateful get grateful for that and uh, you know it really helps my mental mental game. Before we let you go I have one more question actually. Um, how awesome is it to be able to have these fights in Portland? Man, it, I love fighting in my own backyard, you know, um, I grew up well, mo you know, the majority of my amateur fights were here in uh, Portland and uh, you know, I have a huge following. Uh, I get to sleep in my own bed at night, so I'm super pumped and I uh, can't wait to show the Portland crowd, uh, you know, what, what I'm all about. Awesome. Thanks, man. Hey, no problem. Thanks for uh, hitting me up and uh, doing the interview.